Hi, welcome to Global World Media. Today I'm joined by David Christensen, who is the Managing Director of Renascore Resources, uh, an exploration and development company with an extensive project portfolio in South Australia, including their flagship Severe Graphite Project, which is one of the world's largest reported reserves of graphite. So hi, David. Thank you for joining us today from Adelaide. Uh, how are you? Yeah, yeah, very good. Good to be here. So... To start off, could you give us a brief overview of yourself, of the company, and tell us how everything started? Yeah, okay. Um, so, so my background is is in corporate finance before I got involved in uh, mining on the marketing side, and then I eventually took over operations role. And, and prior to forming Renascore, I, I served as the chief executive officer of uh, uranium operation here in South Australia, where I'm based now. And uh, Renascore is basically a South Australian based uh, exploration and development company. And we're really now operating in the clean energy space uh, after we discovered what's grown into uh, not just Australia, but one of the world's largest graphite resources located right here in our home state. And so our, our plan is to produce not just a graphite concentrate at the mine site, but we go one step further and we refine that into a purified spherical form that can be sold directly to the lithium ion battery sector. And uh, we think we, based on really the the size and the unique geology of our deposit, we think we have, you know, potentially one of the lowest potential cost operations uh, in development today. And with the growth in the lithium ion battery sector, we think we could become one of, if not the largest producers globally of a refined graphite product for many years to come. Right. So uh, what can you tell us about the about your company? Like what, what is the unique story and what is so particular about the, the your portfolio in South Australia? Yeah. So, look, the, the uniqueness of our company, I guess, is there are probably a handful of undeveloped graphite developments that can produce at a particularly low cost at scale. And and we think we have one of them uh, in our project here in South Australia. I guess maybe the difference with our project is because of our location in a safe, low sovereign risk jurisdiction like Australia, we also have the benefit of not just producing at the mine site, but we can go one step further and refine that product within our own jurisdiction. And we think we have what looks like a very competitive cost advantage at the mine site. But because we don't have to transport that to a safe jurisdiction, we're already in one, we can then upgrade that here in South Australia and produce a product we think at a, a particular cost advantage against anybody else outside of China. Mm -hmm. uh, and that's why we think we have a real opportunity to, to grow this into one of the largest producers of this refined graphite product globally. Excellent. So from your perspective, uh, David, why do you think that the mining and development of graphite is so important and why is it recognized as a critical mineral? Yeah, that, that's a great question. So graphite has traditionally been used for predominantly industrial purposes, largely in steel making. And it grows at a steady state, um, but not a very high rate. Uh, what's really happened with graphite is the introduction of its use in electric vehicles is, is a paradigm shifting event where you're looking at potential growth of not one or two percent per annum, but 29, 30% per annum. Uh, and we're, we're headed into a significant supply shortage. Uh, and it's largely because the anode sector is growing faster than the ability of the existing mines to meet that demand. And so from a, a supply demand perspective, we simply need more graphite than is currently being produced. Um, and I guess the uniqueness of what we're doing is we're, we're tapping into all that growth. The, the, the Chinese control 100% of the midstream development of graphite. So right. the taking graphite processing into the refined form for the EV sector, mm -hmm. uh, I think we're relatively unique because we're able to take the graphite product and then refine it ourselves. Mm -hmm. uh, and the benefit of doing that is then we tap into that high growth, that 30% mm -hmm. growth rate. And, and that's why graphite is becoming critical. There's just not enough to meet the expanded growth. And then the other issues, the Chinese have such a dominant position. So those two factors are making it critical. 
Excellent. So as a last question, uh, what factors do you think will help Runasker outperform the market and what exciting development should investors be looking out for in the coming months? Yeah. So look, I guess the entire battery mineral space seems to have been particularly resilient against the market, whether it's COVID or uh, the war in Ukraine and now the, the potential recessionary concerns we're worrying about. It seems like from a policymaking perspective, people are doubling down on the transition to electric vehicles. So what that means for us is the demand for our project still remains very, very strong. Mm -hmm. um, and so the dynamics from a supply and demand perspective mean we're going to need more graphite. That looks strong, notwithstanding all these factors. Um, and then we think where we fit, the advantage we have is really simple. We have what looks like one of the most interesting graphite developments. And because of its location, we think we can be uh, on the low part of the cost curve. And so as we push forward, we think that is going to allow us to sort of be in a very good place in with respect to the market mm -hmm. uh, and then upcoming what's next for us well we're moving forward through our technical uh, studies uh, and then our regulatory approvals and that'll push us into a final investment decision and at the same time we're looking to transition to binding offtake from from tier one mm -hmm. purchasers of anodes that'll backstop the financing we've already been giving conditional financial approval from the australian government for this project um, so i think what's next for us is finishing these development stages ticking off some of the boxes to get to a final investment decision and then we grow into what we think is going to be a very profitable operation for many years to come Excellent. Well, thanks, David. That's a lot of uh, really great information. We look forward to seeing the next updates from Renasco Resources. So thanks a lot for your time today. Okay. Thanks, Passion. It's been a pleasure. <laughs>